Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on must-haves for beginners, like how to start out your makeup kit if you're just starting and you have no idea like where to begin. So I'm going to jump right into it because I have quite a few things to go over. First thing is a moisturizer. I use a Clinique moisturizer, totally unnecessary that you use one that's expensive. Um, Clean and Clear makes really good moisturizers. If you don't moisturize your face every day, it's really important to get into the habit of doing it. You'll actually notice that your face will become less oily as you start using a moisturizer every day because your face isn't so dry, so your body doesn't think that it has to produce an, as much oil as it normally would need to. It kind of like compensates for the dryness by getting oily. So it seems kind of weird if you don't use a moisturizer, you'd think it would make it worse. I promise it won't. You'll be amazed and it's going to keep you from looking super old when you're actually super old. So it's really important that you use a moisturizer. Another thing is an SPF. It's also really important to use some kind of SPF facial sunblock every single day whether you're going out in the sun or not. Which sounds really ridiculous, but it's really, really important. It's really good for your face and again, it's going to keep you from looking super old when you're actually super old. Good foundation is something that you would want to invest in However, if you're younger and you really don't have a lot of skin problems, a lot of acne, a lot of discoloration, and if you're younger you shouldn't, uh, then I would skip the foundation altogether, go straight for a powder, maybe a BB cream, or um, even skip powder and foundation and everything because if you have really good skin, you don't want to start clogging it up with all this makeup when it's unnecessary. So if you, and if you have really good skin, you want to be able to show it off and keep it let everyone know that you have awesome skin as long as you possibly can because it probably won't be like that forever. So I would just try to use your own discretion even though you may want to like wear foundation because that's what everyone else does and it just seems like what you should do if your skin is good, skip it. Better off for skipping it in the long if run. Your skin is not so great. Um, foundations like the Maybelline Fit Me foundations are really, really nice and very inexpensive. Um, you can apply these with your fingers. So you don't need to have a brush. Um, if you do want to get a brush, um, so Nikashik has good brushes. Um, I've never tried an e.l.f. foundation brush, so I can't speak for that one, but $3 at the most, you can't really go wrong with trying it. So um, I would suggest the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. Um, concealer, while you might want to get a concealer, those are easy to get for your skin tone. It's usually light, medium, dark. Um, it might not even be necessary, you might just be able to double up on your foundation in problem areas instead of actually going out and buying a concealer. Um, if you do get a foundation, a powder is important because you are going to want to set it, especially now that it's in the summer and it's getting really warm. You're going to want to set a foundation with powder to keep it on your face as long as possible. Um, if you don't want to go straight for a liquid foundation, you can just get a powder and use just the powder on your face to keep it matte during the day and add just a little bit of coverage. So you have a lot of options. Um, again, I'm suggesting everything drugstore because if you're just starting out, you don't want to go buy something expensive, high-end, and then not like it or find out that it's not a kind of product that you want to use and it's just a big pain. So I'm suggesting drugstore to you guys because I think that's a really good idea if you're just starting uh, out. For powders, Rimmel has really good powders. Um, Revlon has some. Revlon's a little bit more expensive. I would go with the Rimmel, the matte powders. Um, they can be a little powdery, but they're not bad and they'll do the job, essentially. As far as blush and bronzer goes, um, I would suggest something like this. This is an e.l.f. Uh, blush and bronzer duo. This is like $3 and then you have both in one palette. Especially if you're traveling, you don't have to worry about carrying multiple things at once. These are pretty universal shades, should work for anybody with a medium to light to medium dark skin tone. They're really, really good. Um, e.l.f. has really great brushes to apply these things. E.l.f. has good angled brushes and so yeah, I would definitely suggest e.l.f. brushes and just about everything. Their eye brushes are also really, really good. Highlighter, it's not necessary. If you want to get one, Hard Candy has a really good one. This is the Honeymoon Highlighter from Hard Candy. I really, really like this. Um, I think just about every brand is going to have something you can use for a highlighter. You could even go as far as to look at, like Maybelline has single eyeshadows. Look at some of those. Find like a nice shimmery shade that you think would look good on your skin tone and you can use that for a highlighter and then it's way cheaper than buying like a larger highlight powder and it's going to last a really long time anyway. Eyebrows, I don't necessarily think that as a beginner you really need to be worrying about doing your eyebrows. Um, just keep them shaped and you know under control and you should be fine. Eyeshadows, 
Um, get a palette like this. These are going to be great for beginners. This is one of the Maybelline um, Smokes Quad, whatever they have. They don't look like this anymore. They have five colors now, which is even better. Um, they're all colors that will complement each other, and they are labeled to where they go, and there are actually little instructions on the back of how to apply them. So you're almost foolproof. Um, just make sure that with your e.l.f. brushes, which are really cheap and I suggest getting, um, you're blending everything well and it should look really good uh, regardless of your skill level. These are really great to practice with. You don't have to worry about pairing colors up and wondering if they're going to match because these are all going to match with each other well because that's what they're made to do. These are really, really great. You can get lots of different colors with these, but I would suggest getting a neutral one to begin with because if you get like blue or green or something, you're not going to want to wear blue and green every single day. So I would start out with a neutral one for now. Eyeliner and mascara. ELF has really great eyeliners. These are the $3 mineral eyeliners. Um, they twist up and they're really, really nice. I would suggest getting a brown and a black. Um, just so you don't have to wear black every day. It's not harsh. If you want to do something a little more intense, you don't have to wear brown every day. And at that price, you know, it's not going to be a huge bank breaker to get a brown and a black eyeliner. For mascaras, I would suggest any of the Maybelline Volume Express mascaras because these are really, really great and fairly inexpensive. They have the Falsies, Colossal, One by One, Mega Plush. They have so many different kinds. Um, either that or the CoverGirl Lash Blast, just the original one, is a really nice mascara. The brush is a little big, so if you're not used to mascara, it might be a little difficult to work with. Um, but you will get used to it, and this will make your lashes look the best without having to worry about false lashes because. If you're a beginner, then false lashes are way in the future. Don't even worry about them right now. Lastly, for lips, lips are totally up to you. I would suggest getting something like a neutral color, a nude, or like a nudie pink, something that can be wearable every day with just about any eye color. Because if you get like a bright red, then what are you going to do on days that you don't want to wear a bright red? If you're a beginner, you can be a little timid as far as wearing bold lips goes. So you don't want to get something that you're not comfortable wearing yet. Um, because then it's just kind of a waste. So get like a nude color or a nudie pink, just something uh, that's going to look good, L whether it's lipstick or lip gloss or a tinted lip balm is totally up to you. The Revlon lip butters are really great. They have really great colors and um, they're more of a lip balm so it's not like diving right into lipstick or lip gloss just yet. I hope this helps you guys. I hope this helps people that have asked. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this also and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.